2023 was a very interesting and controversial year in astronomy. On this channel, we have covered all of the James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries. In this video, we will celebrate the new year by looking back at some of the most exciting and controversial discoveries that this telescope made in 2023, its first full year of operation. We will see how the IT has changed our understanding of the universe and our place in it, and how it has sparked new debates and questions among scientists and the public. We will also see how the web has enabled new collaborations and discoveries across various fields of astronomy and astrophysics. So, if you are curious about the wonders of the cosmos and want to learn more about the James Webb's amazing year, then stay tuned and keep watching. One of the main goals of the James Webb is to observe the first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, about 13.8 billion years ago. These are the oldest and most distant objects in the universe, and they are very faint and redshifted, meaning that their light has been stretched by the expansion of the universe. To see them, Webb uses its powerful infrared instruments, which can detect light that is invisible to the human eye and to other telescopes. By observing the first stars and galaxies, Webb can help us understand how the universe evolved from a hot and dense state to the complex and diverse cosmos we see today. It can also help us understand the role of dark matter and dark energy, the mysterious substances that make up most of the universe and influence its fate. Some of the discoveries that the This Amazing Telescope made in 2023 in this area are the detection of the earliest galaxy ever seen, dating back to just 100 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy, named JWS1, is about 100 times smaller than the Milky Way, but has a very high star formation rate, meaning that it is producing new stars very rapidly. Webb also found that this galaxy has a very low metallicity, meaning that it contains very few elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. This suggests that this galaxy is one of the first generations of galaxies, and that it has not been enriched by the explosions of massive stars. The observation of the first stars in the universe, which are also known as Population 3 stars. These stars are thought to be very massive, very bright, and very short-lived, and they are responsible for producing the first heavy elements in the universe. James Webb detected the signatures of these stars in the spectra of some of the earliest galaxies, and also in the cosmic infrared background, which is the diffuse glow of infrared light that fills the universe. It also found evidence of primordial black holes, which are the remnants of the collapse of these stars. These black holes could be the seeds of the supermassive black holes that we see at the centers of galaxies today. The measurement of the properties of the intergalactic medium which is the gas and dust that fills the space between galaxies. James Webb found that the intergalactic medium is not uniform, but rather has a clumpy and filamentary structure, forming a cosmic web that connects the galaxies. Webb also found that the intergalactic medium is ionized, meaning that its atoms have been stripped of their electrons by the radiation of the first stars and galaxies. This process, known as rionization, marks the end of the cosmic dark ages, when the universe was opaque and cold. It determined that rayonization occurred between 400 and 800 million years after the Big Bang, which is earlier than previously thought. These discoveries have challenged some of the existing models and theories of the early universe and have opened new avenues for research and exploration. They have also shown us how diverse and complex the early universe was and how much we still have to learn about it. In the next section, we will see how the JWST has searched for life in the universe and what it has found. Another main goal of the James Webb is to study the formation and diversity of planetary systems and to search for signs of life in the atmospheres of potentially habitable exoplanets. Exoplanets are planets that orbit stars other than the Sun and they are very common in the universe. To date, more than 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered, and many more are expected to be found by the web. By studying the exoplanets, Webb can help us answer some of the fundamental questions about our place in the universe and the origin and evolution of life. 
It can also help us compare our own solar system to other planetary systems and see how common or rare it is. Some of the discoveries that the James Webb made in 2023 in this area are the observation of K218b, an exoplanet that is larger than Earth and orbits a red dwarf star in the habitable zone. Webb found that this planet has a deep hydrogen atmosphere that contains methane and carbon dioxide. This suggests that it might have a global ocean beneath its atmosphere. Webb also detected a possible hint of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, in the atmosphere, which on Earth is only produced by microbial life. However, this detection needs to be confirmed by further observations. It is a very interesting planet that could potentially support life, but it also faces many challenges, such as its active star and high temperature. Confirming the presence of heavy elements, carbon and oxygen, in the atmosphere of the distant exoplanet HD 149026b. The discovery came as a surprise to astronomers, as gas giants from our own solar system, such as Jupiter and Saturn, predominantly house only hydrogen and helium in their atmospheres. The general rule tends to be, the bigger the planet, the less heavy elements in its atmosphere. The discovery turned this idea on its head. The detection of an Earth-like exoplanet named LHS 475b. This is the first exoplanet confirmed by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It is a rocky, terrestrial planet that is almost exactly the same size as Earth. It orbits a star called LHS 475, which is about 40.7 light-years away in the constellation of Octans. The planet completes an orbit every two days and is only a few hundred degrees warmer than Earth. However, Webb did not detect any signs of an atmosphere on this planet. These discoveries have shown us how diverse and fascinating the exoplanets are and how much they can teach us about the formation and evolution of planetary systems. They have also shown us how challenging and ambiguous the search for life is and how many factors and variables are involved. In the next section, we will see how the JWST has investigated our own solar system and what it has found. The third main goal of the James Webb is to investigate the physical and chemical properties of objects in our own solar system, such as asteroids, comets, moons, and planets. These objects are the remnants of the formation of our solar system, and they can reveal its history and dynamics. They can also tell us about the potential for life and exploration in our own backyard. By observing the solar system objects, Webb can help us understand the origin and diversity of our solar system and how it compares to other planetary systems. It can also help us identify and characterize the threats and opportunities that these objects pose for humanity. Some of the discoveries that the web made in 2023 in this area are the first detailed images of Uranus and Neptune, the two ice giant planets that are often overlooked by other missions. Webb found that these planets have complex and dynamic atmospheres with clouds, storms, and winds that vary with seasons and latitudes. It also found that these planets have ring systems that are different from those of Saturn and Jupiter, and that they have magnetic fields that are tilted and offset from their rotation axes. Webb also observed some of their moons, such as Triton and Miranda, and found that they have geologic activity and diverse terrains. These are just some of the amazing and surprising discoveries that the James Webb made in 2023 its first full year of operation. We have covered these discoveries in more depth and detail in our previous videos, where we explain the science and the significance behind them. If you are interested in learning more about these discoveries and how they have changed our understanding of our solar system and the universe, please check out our previous videos. We are living in an exciting and fascinating time where we can witness the JWST's journey and learn more about the wonders of the universe. We hope that you enjoyed this video and that you are as excited and curious as we are for the future discoveries that the JWST will make in 2024 and beyond. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time.